That's good. Thank you, my friend. Hey, keep calling on your ninja. Remember, this is your last shot. And speaking of last shot, I love Geek Chef, and they literally are geeks in the kitchen who make our lives easier. This is the last and final airing of the weekend. It's also your last chance to get it on a sale price and a four flex pay with that free shipping. It expires after this show. Stephanie is coming back. We're gonna be cooking for a crowd and then some, so don't go anywhere. Of course, we'd love to hear from you. Uh, much more in your kitchen coming up. We understand every woman's skin is unique. We offer real beauty solutions for individual needs of real women, empowering women to achieve healthy, radiant looking skin. Backed by over 30 years experience, made from important ingredients combined with advanced science for affordable skincare that truly works. Change the story of your skin and your life forever. Genuine beauty begins with skin. Shop like a VIP with the HSN credit card. Apply now and instantly get $10 off when you're approved. As an HSN card member, you'll get all kinds of perks, like extra flex on jewelry, beauty, and fashion purchases all day, every day. Plus VIP financing, VIP easy returns, exclusive offers, and there's no annual fee. Apply now. Call 1-800-695-1418 or search HSN card at hsn.com. QVC and HSN are on the hunt. Is your product our next big beauty or fashion item? Are you our next great success story? Show us what you've got, America. For details, just search The Big Find on QVC.com and HSN.com. Let's go. Nice. Hey, can I borrow those? Okay. Yeah? I'll see you later. Stephanie is with me in the kitchen, and you, of course, and we have got a lot going on. Have meat. Uh, yeah, how about <laughs> got, eight pounds? Got meat. All right, this is such a genius item. First of all, Geek Chef, we love, love, love them. They really and literally are geeks in the kitchen, but they want to make your job and your life easier, so they think of, you know, what do we need? Well, they have done all of the guesswork for you. This is for this show and this show only, and I know it's a huge price reduction, but if you go toe-to-toe -to -toe in the market, head to head in the market, and you know the you know little pressure cookers that can of this profile and of this size, they sell for a lot more than $59.95. This is not an also ran, this is not an end of season. We're just putting it on sale for the final quantities. Uh, it is also free shipping, adjusted price, and flex pay for this show. This is it. Let me just show you what we've got. We've got the beautiful copper. We have this brushed stainless. We have, are we calling this uh, gray or graphite in the system, Rick? Okay. Oh, I believe it's a black. Okay, black. So yep. we're calling it black, stainless, copper, and red. And then, of course, you get a little uh, uh, kind of a cook and look lid if you want to use it as a soup tureen. The, uh, the stainless, now you also get a stainless steel insert, but of course you can choose the stainless brush design, measuring receptacle, the elevated tray. So Stephanie, what makes this so unique? I'll tell you what, this has every feature I have ever, ever seen in a pressure cooker and then some. Yeah. So it's 11 in one, but included in that 11 pre-programmed functions yeah. is a slow cooker. Oh. So we don't need one of those anymore. Plus the rice, plus the yogurt, plus the canning, all the things that we want to see, but the geek chef pressure cooker also acts as a sous vide. Yes. I've never oh, wow. run into a pressure cooker oh, no that if you want to sous vide your meat, cook it in the hot water bath, right. you can. So the functions here are endless. The yeah. price point to have a computerized oh, plane on. with 11 pre-programmed functions crazy. is amazing. But I got to show you the quality. So this, I know, <laughs> a little unusual to show on TV. This is the shoulder from my pork shoulder. Oh. 
Oh the God. bone literally slid okay. out of the meat and there's not a bit wasted. Do you know why That's I love pulled funny. pork in the summer so much? When you are inviting over a crowd, so you don't really want to be cooking, right? It's summer, you want to be chilling out with Rochelle's ninja drinks, That's you know, right. and having a good old time. It's true. So if you put a piece of pork shoulder in a pressure cooker for two hours, maybe max, under pressure, you end up with this massive amount of meat where yeah. everybody can help themselves, have some sandwiches, you don't heat up the kitchen. You don't. And by the way, you don't break the bank. Because what I love about pressure cooking is you buy the cheapest cut of meat on oh. sale at the grocery this week, and it turns into the most heavenly it piece of meat because you're cooking it under pressure. It you makes are. everything better. And you know, Stephanie, I'm just going to show them this real quickly because I know we've got a lot to move through. It's an abbreviated airing. But if uh, Mark, where is the best one to do a little shot? I love these shortcuts. Now, of yes. course, you can manually own, override them if you would so choose. Go ahead and push one. It right. tells you immediately. You can do that Look for six that. hours. You can do that for 20 minutes. You can do that for eight. Those are my non-pressure functions. Then my pressure functions. Right. 15 minutes, pre-programmed, 45 Brilliant. for the soups and the meats. You know, all you're doing is pushing a button for poultry. All you're doing Brilliant. is pushing a button for rice. It figures mm. out absolutely everything else itself. So I took chicken wings mm. and by the way, this Ooh, that pork is good. Isn't that pork amazing? I'm telling you. Why did I bring my take home? I have no here. idea because I'm about to show you so much food. Ah. We'll find you some take home okay. containers. Here's something I have never done before until this week, mm. and I absolutely love it chicken wings in the pressure cooker. Mm -hmm. And at first I was like, okay, why would we want to do that? Well, what do we not want to do? We don't want to fry them, right? Like I am trying to somewhat show up in a bathing suit this season. So I don't want to fry them. I can air fry them, I can bake them, all that. But if I pressure cook them, first of all, I started with the sear function. This pressure cooker has a sear function and you never want one that doesn't have it because that's how you get those good little bits on your meat, the good crispies on the outside. So I seared the outside of my chicken wings to get that little crispy on them. Then I put them under pressure with the poultry setting and cooked them for 10 mm. minutes. Okay, I can't get anything done in 10 minutes or my oven or my air fryer. So I love the fact that they are showing up on the table literally within 10 minutes. Then I tossed them in sauce. I'm telling you, this nice. meat is falling off the bone. It is. I love a wing, but I don't necessarily like to chew on a wing. Yeah, I kind of no, just want to make it easy. And pressure cooking makes it, it does. easy. I'm telling you, that this is the secret of a lot of restaurants. With yes. chicken specifically, because they use a combination of that frying and then pressure cooking, you'll never find anything that's healthier or tastier or more, more nutritious or, or moist easier. or easy. Or easier. All right, what are you doing there? Okay, so I took chicken tenderloins, right? Buy them pre-cut, yeah. cut them yourself, whatever works for you. Sure. I did that saute. You will know notice that I saute almost everything first. Sure. Having that function in this great stainless steel pan, that's key. That's what you're usually paying big bucks oh, for. for. Sure. That's the difference with, typically between the $60 pressure cooker and the $260 pressure right. cooker. Geek Chef is making it so you're getting these features affordably. Put in some spinach. Put in some cream cheese, because okay. I'm going to make a little sauce, but oh, what am nice. I not going to do? Stand and stir. Yeah, amen. Don't want to be doing that. Right. Put in some fresh pasta. Right. You always need a liquid, whether you're using the slow cooker function, the sure. pressure cooker function, the rice function, you have to have a liquid. Right. So I put it all in there. If you're not familiar with the new style of pressure cookers, the lid is your friend. Yes. It lines up very easily with arrows on the side. You twist, and that is all you yep, need to do. That's it. Once this lid is locked in, now I can choose my function. If yeah. my lid is locked in, it will not let me set it. It won't. So there are no security concerns. I'm locked in, right. and let's pick a function. So I've got chicken in here, and I know that I only need about 15 to 10 minutes to right. get this pasta to come in. So I'm gonna choose my rice function. I'm mostly choosing it out of time. Sure. I know I want about 10 minutes or so. Okay. It goes under pressure with the little digital markings that tells me it's about to do its job, and then it's going to take all of those flavors, it does. meld them together under pressure, and out comes Honestly, the yeah. most amazing chicken tortellini and cream sauce. And what did I do? I dumped five things right. in and walked away. And here's the best part. Not only are you not heating up your stovetop. Now, Stephanie was using, you know, fresh ingredients, but there's no rule that says you couldn't have put frozen pasta. Oh, absolutely. We're chicken. gonna. So here's the thing. This is for this show, this show only. But, you know, then you're talking about fast and healthy, too. That elevated rack is great. You can do seafood in this. Absolutely. You're getting so many different options. 
options. Not only do you have all the different cooking options, but you're getting the rack, which I absolutely love for the seafood. I did my salmon in here, and you can see that it's absolutely gorgeous so that I can keep it without having it going too far to the done category. I can go ahead and leave the moisture in there, infuse it with the lemon. Look how fresh that broccolini looks because I'm doing a light steam. You are. It doesn't get overcooked. Nope. It doesn't get dried out. And again, that is just with the push of the button from Geek Genius. Chef. I'm telling you, if you've never pressure cooked before, you need to try this. It is not only fast, it is easy, it is simple, it is healthy, it is goof proof. It is for this show. It is for this airing at $14 flex pay with free shipping on sale. And I'm telling you, if you have never used a pressure cooker, first and foremost, there's a reason that there are these avid communities around Absolutely. those pots that do things in an instant. That's a fantastic <laughs> product. I, I, I own it, but I will tell you, I spent a lot more than $59.95. And I'll be honest, I have put this head to head with the most popular brands out there. And this one has more features. It's six quarts in capacity. It slow cooks. It sous vides. It does your yogurt. It does your rice. This seafood boil is so amazing and so fast. These potatoes, I'm literally touching them with a ladle and they are falling apart. Heart, the corn, the shrimp. We put some spicy sausage in there, Ooh, and that right spice. Up my and, oh, and this infuses right into oh, the clams. This is amazing. That broth so is like the best part. It is. If you wanted to use all six quarts and have a big seafood boil this summer, you've got the ability to do it. But here's the thing: on a Tuesday night, if I'm just cooking for me and the kids, maybe I only need to do a couple of chicken breasts. Want to do a little sauce on top? You don't have to fill up six quarts every time right, you cook. True. So don't look at this and be like oh, I don't, you know, I only cook like that once a year. Great. The once a year you want to do it, you've yeah. got it. But the rest of the time, it makes your life quicker every yeah. single time you quicker use it. Quicker and healthier. Here's the funny thing. I don't know. I think mentally we think of pressure cooker in the cooler months, but I've got to be honest. First of all, I use my pressure cooker 12 months out of the year and all, literally probably five days a week. It's, I think you can make a better argument for the summer oh, because the yeah. last thing you want to do is turn on a burner, turn on a stove, turn on an oven. This is beyond set it and forget it. You can steam, you can saute, you can do fresh, you can do frozen. You're saving time at you a are. time of year where you want to be out doing other things. I don't want my oven on. I right. don't want my stove on. I don't even want to boil water for pasta. Yeah. Good. So I won't. Dry pasta. Dry pasta. In the pressure cooker. Oh, this now, is crazy. what's the rule? We need a... Liquid. Liquid. Okay, let's make the yep. liquid sauce, right? Okay. Because I want sauce on my pasta anyway. So I am just going to go ahead and make my pasta in the marinara sauce. Again, we'll go ahead and put it under pressure. Yep. No big deal. Lid clicks on. And then I choose what I want to do under pressure. Again, I'm a big fan of the rice function for these quicker ones because okay. I know that I'm going to be able to do it that quickly. But if you want to do something slower and you want to slow cook, you can do that. Right. Use the glass lid. If you want to do something longer, maybe you know you want that meat to just fall apart, then you choose a function that has a longer amount of time, and yeah. you have a manual ability to choose anything. There's no wrong answer. No. That's the thing about pressure cooking. You honestly can't mess it you, up. You can't. There's no learning curve with this. And, and Mark, I know we're rotating on that left side of the screen the different functions, but I'll just kind of paraphrase and uh, summarize m most of them. You can saute. You can slow cook. There's a yogurt function Absolutely. on this. Absolutely. Eight hours to yogurt. It's crazy. It is so fresh and yummy. I mean, there's a rice cooker. It's it's amazing because once you get this at home, you kind of wonder how you ever lived without it. This is that dynamic red. Everybody's going crazy gonzo for that copper, the black, or the brushed stainless. Remember, you also get an additional lid. So you can use this as a, you know, a, a, a catering or a soup terrine. Or so, if you just want to slow cook. Right, or if you just you want to slow cook. You don't have to use the big metal Absolutely. lid. Absolutely. There is your stainless steel insert, your elevated rack if you want to do some steaming, your ladles, and of course your measuring um, uh, cup as well. What do you got going so on? So now I'm doing a chili. Another great example of let's make life simpler. So right off the bat, I'm sauteing, I'm browning my ground beef right here in the pot. I yeah. just mixed in some beans. Why mess up my stove? Right. Why stand there and deal with it? All I need is a few stirves here, and you can see that I've got my beef all ground and ready to go. Smart. So then I'm going to put in my sauce. I'm going to put in a little bit of my seasoning. 
and I've got chili ready to go. Now, chili season, not so much in the summer, right. but I gotta tell you, football season's right around yeah, the corner. No kidding. And I am all ready to think about tailgates and having yes. people over for that. So usually, you have to what? Simmer it on the stove you for hours do. and hours, or and put it in the slow it. cooker, and yeah. then slow being the key word. Now, here's where I love this so much from Geek Chef. You have those options. If you wanna slow cook this chili from right. now until August, you go right ahead. You could. Because that's one of the buttons in our right. functions that we can choose. Slow cooking, there we go. Six hours is what it defaults to and I can change okay. it. But if I don't want to slow cook, if I know that somebody's coming over and I want dinner done a little quickly, I can also then choose my soup function. Look at the difference. Oh yeah. 30 minutes. But you can also do a manual override if you want to, you know, if there's something specific or you're doing your own thing or if you like something a little, you know, you want to give it a little extra time. I mean, so you are still in control. But the Absolutely. best part for me is when I say set it and forget it, you don't have to think about a doggone thing. I mean, whether it's fast or fresh or frozen, I mean, it is always healthier. There's always more moisture in something that's pressure cooked. Because it's all kept in there. Yes. So yes, you're saving time. You are. You're saving money because you don't have to buy the top quality cut of meat. It's true. It will stay moist yeah. and get tender right here in the pressure cooker. What Geek Chef has done, and I'll tell you